Today I want to go over this news that's coming out of Mali. Mali is breaking records in cotton production. Now this is happening while the Malian government got rid of the French troops, they got rid of the French ambassador, they got rid of the French news channel, you know, the propaganda channels, and now they are breaking records. Mali has recorded its largest cotton production of more than 760,000 tons for the 2021-2022 season. The president of the transition, Asimi Gointa, declared the record production on Saturday, figures that place Mali as the top cotton producers on the African continent. According to the government, record production was made possible by maintaining a subsidy on agricultural inputs and also maintaining a minimal shift in the cost of cotton seeds, among other initiatives. In September 2021, the United States Department of Agriculture had indicated in its report that Mali will be the largest cotton producer in Africa for the 2021-2022 season, followed by Benin, Cote d'Ivoire and Burkina Faso. Mali planted a record 795,000 hectares, up from 630 hectares, that is 382% increase from last year's crop. Remember this video? This is the Malian people last year demonstrating and saying that they want the French soldiers to leave. And now that they are gone, there has been 382% rise in the white gold, as it's called, you know, cotton production. This is no coincidence. Maybe it would be coincident if it was like 10% rise, but this is something totally different. This is a clear demonstration how things change after French and Western armies leave Africa. And this is a clear path to Somalia, to Burkina Faso and to many other African countries to finally say no and stand up and say leave our continent. Only then will we see developments like this. Imagine like in Somalia if the drone strikes stop and the government would implement things like this. And congratulations to the Malian government and to Mali people for the hard work. And I do like the initiative that they took helping the people farm, subsidizing the farming products, because certain things like fertilizers are quite expensive. But this is great. I love it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all on the next one.